Hi and welcome to this tutorial on Avis Tools ATiles, which is a great plugin for 3ds Max to create basically tiles, but it can be used for many uses, different uses of uh, spreading objects on surfaces. But in this tutorial, we'll focus only on a simple roof tile or tile roof actually and we'll use this simple geometry to support the tiles but this geometry will, be, will not be rendered so let's see what we are going to use or create on this roof so we have the rafters and then we have buttons i will also put some roof sheeting and on top of them we'll put the tiles so let's start. I've created some some simple objects, some boxes. And then this is the rafter, a typical rafter, and this is the pattern. And this will be used as a support for the tiles. And actually, what we are going to do first is uh, create a simple a tiles object and draw a simple one doesn't matter which size or angle we can always set the angle to be exactly as we want and so we're going to go and uh, into the modify panel and select the main as a use the roof tiles one and this object, this Avis tiles object, will be cloned three more times. And the idea is that we have um, a reference because we know that support will come exactly beneath those tiles, and this pattern will come beneath that support. And obviously the rafters will be down below so what we're going to do is first copy the name it styles and then we're going to clone but a copy and name it batten and two more clones rafters and last one will be support or shitting so let's um, go and select I the pattern rafters and the tiles and we are left with this one which is the support so for this to work, we are going to go and add new, select it, and we will play, uh, since you have the offset in, in uh, centimeters, we're going to type 100 so that the X or the Y offset will be a uh, will not be overlapping like 50 or 80 or even 110 will have some spacing we don't want that spacing we just want it to be perfectly closed so I will hide it and use them buttons buttons and then we'll select and add new and select the button module. Now the module will go in different angles. So we are going to go into advanced parameters and rotate by 90. So we have it rotated. Now we're going to make it exactly uh, 
glued into each one to each other, but we actually have to um, play with the different with the spacing. So we are going to uh, change it. Let's keep it one thousand, and uh, now we'll find hide. So we're going to hide this one and going to unhide the rafters. And again, we're going to select the new one and select the rafter. This one as well should, if I'm not mistaken, should be rotated. And the offsetting X is, let's change it. 80 sorry 800 and you know what let's keep it at 600 and so now we're going to unhide everything and as you can see we have like a sandwich of four layers so let's select the support and we are going to offset it by 100%. If I'm going to add like 150, you see that the tiles will have some spacing. We don't want it to happen, so we're going to put it at like 100. And then we're going to select the ones with the pattern. We are going to offset 200. Let's play a bit so we know when to stop. So let's go and reduce the offset to about 140. And last one, going to the rafters. And again, playing with the offset until we have it at 147. These values are not official, you just have to play and see what happens. So as you can see, this is the stacking order of these uh, elements. And then we are going to move them apart so that we can select them nicely. And this was actually the fun part and also the most difficult one. So let's hide selection. Now we are going to select this rafters object and we're going to use the advanced tools toolbox, move it aside and now we're going to select from roof planes. Now you may have to make sure that when you pick the surfaces, you are going to pick them as close as possible to the horizontal um, edge, because if we don't do it, the alignment will not be as expected, because we want them to go as we drew them. And they are actually going, in this case of the rafters, it's going to be going from the bottom part to the upper part. So click and you see because we offset it down below it goes beneath the surface. So let's select each of the four surfaces and now we have our four sides. Actually we are having missing surfaces. For some reason I don't see them. Wait, let's see if we have norms. So now we're going to pick again from roof planes. I don't know why 
those two surfaces do not react. And you can see that the other one did. So selecting and well, we'll have to deal it with it later. Now we're going to select support from roof planes. Something is prohibiting ATARs from doing it. This is the first time I've dealt with it. And last, let's hide the, the rest because I want to be able to select the flames faster. So let's select this one, this one as well. I think I know what the problem is, but so I'm almost sure I know. Let's see. Well, we can't. Now, let's select and isolate this roof. And then I'm going to select all the vertices. We have 10. And I think we have four occluded vertices. So let's go into the weld. And as you can see, we have four and six. So let's. Uh, press the world. We have now six one six uh, vertices. Unhide all, and let's see if I was right. So select, go back to toolbox from roof planes, and this solve it. So let's hide them. And actually, um, go into the rafters object, select from roof planes, and the second one, select the buttons, roof planes. And last but not least, select the support and roof tiles. And actually, let's unhide everything. I'm not going to deal with the tile that goes on these edges, but I will hide the underlying geometry, which is the roof geometry. And uh, let's apply a material I prepared earlier, which is a multi-material. And as you can see, it doesn't have multi-material used, so we are going to go into the edit, to the modify panel. And the variations and go and make sure we have four materials applied. Again, select this one, variations for variations. Sorry, this one's not the one. This is it. Variations on and four. So basically, this is how you create multi layers of tile roofs. 
very simple, very fun to do. Very, it's like a game. And this plugin is awesome. It's very cheap. And I suggest you go to the Avis Tools website and just get it. So this is it. Thank you for watching the tutorial and I hope you liked it. Uh, bye.